Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Joe Borda from Sports Fanatic News, and this is going to be another NBA team preview slash projection. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. This one is going to be on the three and four Chicago Bulls to start the season. This is a team that I still think is a bit of ways away. They have a very um, inexperienced um, bench still and a bench that needs a lot more depth. Um, Otto Porter is, of course, a solid guy coming off of it. Averages of 14.8. Uh, you got Zach Levine, who's a very, very good um, player there as well. And, excuse me, I meant Otto Porter starting, averaging 14.8. Uh, but when Ryan Archie Diacono is one of your first guard, couple guards off the bench, that's when you know you have a shorter bench. And then Thomas Sadoransky, who's a fine player, but is also probably more of a three guard off of the bench, is really your second guard before Archie Diacono, that's when you know you need a little bit more depth there. The thing that this team does have, though, is very good young guys to build around. They do have two guards. They just need other guys below them to be able to continue to build around in Colby White and Zach Levine. Zach Levine is, of course, an overall uh, beast and just plays very well. He can dunk. He can drive. He's gotten better and better at shooting each season. And this season, he averages a crisp 22.2 points with 4.5 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and one and a half steals a game. So he is chilling and killing again. And then Kobe Wright is doing his thing as well, having a very solid start to the season himself, averaging almost 15, 4.3 rebounds, and almost six assists a game. So those guys are passing the ball around, doing well. And then down low, they got two again, solid young guys to build around in Wendell Carter Jr., who at the power forward position, if he can get his rebounds up a little bit, could be a double-double a night. He already averages 12.5 points and almost eight rebounds. He just needs to get that up about two. And 2.5 assists per game is not a too shabby passer down there at power forward as well. And then, of course, the other guy, the man, the myth, the legend, one of my favorite guys in the league, that I was hoping my hometown team was eventually able to trade for it did not come to fruition, is Laurie Markkinen, who's just a very good, exciting player that can spread the floor if he can get better and more consistent at defense. Like, damn, this dude's going to be one of the best in the league at that position, uh, playing the center position uh, down there or the power forward position. It don't matter because he's seven feet tall. If he can get consistent at the defensive end, he is going to be the one of the best down there. He already averages about 17 a game, 6.8 rebounds, 1.2 assists. So he just needs to get a little bit more consistent on the other end, and then he's already going to be, in my opinion, one of the better in the league. And he's already only 24 averaging that. I think he can really be a guy that can average closer to 20 in the right situation. But the one guy that I really like that this team brought in and still have as a veteran is Thaddeus Young. Uh, Thaddeus Young is a guy that's 32. He's just been a scrapper, a guy that's fought and clawed his entire career. He started with my hometown Sixers team and really was a fun player to watch, a player that everyone enjoyed. Um, he's a guy that's just very good to have on a young, developing team. He, to me, is potentially their best bench player, um, considering uh, he's a very experienced guy coming off of the bench compared to everyone else who their problem with their team has a very big lack of experience in uh, Chandler Hutchinson uh, if he doesn't start or Denzel Valentine. They're not the most consistent bench players who ever starts out of them. Garrett Temple's not the most consistent. He's good when he's on, but not the most consistent. Uh, Makota's only in his second year. Archie Diakono's only in his fourth season. Most of the guys they have are really only in their first to fourth season off of their bench. So they're ways away. They don't have experience on their bench. Thad Young is arguably their best player on their bench, but I think bringing him in is a very smart thing to do because you have two great young guys developing down low in Wendell Carter Jr. and Lori Markkinen. And what better to teach them than the mentality that Thad Young has to just put in every percentage he has, no matter how tired he is, no matter how down he is, to keep putting that in to not just the people down low and marking it in corner, but the entire team. So I think that was a fantastic pickup. Just like I said in my Charlotte Hornets video, I believe Gordon Hayward was a fantastic pickup for them for similar reasons since they got a lot of young cats down there in Charlotte as well. I do think this team, though, <clears throat> is a little bit away still. Chandler Hutchinson 
is a young guy that that hasn't really been able to do um, much since they brought him in and gave him a try. Uh, Denzel Valentine is not much of a starter when he does start. So, I mean, I think this team obviously has holes, but they have what is key, good people to build around already. So I think this team is only about one or two years away, especially if they keep a playing game and change the playoffs going forward. We're not saying that's going to happen, but if it does, they're not too far off. They're just ways away from definitely filling out depth on their roster, which is not just going to happen in this season with a limbo trade market I feel is going to happen still because of COVID. Not going to be able to fill out that many people, I don't think, to be able to make yourself more competitive. But they do got the guys that build around in Zach Levine, Kobe White, Wendell Carter Jr., and Laurie Markkinen, in my opinion. So be happy about that, Chicago Bulls fans. I think you guys are on the outside looking in this year but having a very fun, scrappy team of young cats that definitely go out there and give it all for you, as well as Thaddeus Young, the veteran who never misses a beat and never doesn't give it 110%. So have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everyone. This has been Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric of Sports Fanatic News and SteelFlyers.com. Please check out all of our stuff on SteelFlyers.com as well, and peace out, everyone.